Hello, this is Brian on Elkhart County with a brief tutorial on how to set up your Proton Mail email account. A couple different ways to do it, as you know. Easiest way is to go into your favorite search engine and just type in Proton Mail. If your favorite search engine is still Google, you need to change. That's the reason we're doing this. We need to change. All right, so when you type Proton Mail, you're going to come up with a link, a bunch of links. Look for the one that looks like this. Secure email Proton Mail is free encrypted mail. The domain is HTTPS. The S denotes a secure website. It means the data is encrypted colon slash slash protonmail.com. We're going to click that or you're going to type it in and um, come right here. This <laughs> is the website as of today, January 5th, 2021. Version 1 of this video, I said 2020. Ah! Okay, so 2021. Um, this is what it looks like. If it doesn't look like this, check the domain name here up top. Make sure it is HTTPS colon slash slash protonmail.com. And then you should be right. We're going to sign up for an account. Click the sign up button. Then take your time to read this here. Um, I mean, there's, there's good information in here. And there's something cool that they said right here when you go to select a free account. Privacy is a fundamental human right. So we provide free accounts as a public service. And you can still support them by sending them a donation. You can still support them by telling friends and family. And then there's your donation link. All right, now the free account that does come with, with some limits. The limits are you only get 500 megabytes of email storage. That's going to include your, uh, your pictures, your videos. So keep an eye on that. You get 150 messages per day. And you're going to have limited support. And that's probably going to be by email. I haven't had that, had to use that yet. Um, so let's go ahead and select the free plan. Uh, and, and in case you want to, you know, pay for this, four euros a month comes to about five dollars. Um, it all depends on the exchange rate between the U.S. dollar and the euro. But figure five dollars a month, and you're going to get more um, kudos with your account. But for this. For this um, exercise, we're going to choose a free plan. So click that with your mouse or tap it with your finger. And this is how you set up your account. Number one, step one, username and domain. Whatever you put right here is going to be that name at protonmail.com. Um, just like getting a uh, username for any email. Only thing here is, is you have the option to choose CH. In this case, I don't know what CH means, and I know it's not important. Whichever one will work. But for, for continuity purposes, let's just all choose .com. ProtonMail.com. Now I know saying that there's probably somebody out there that's going to choose CH just because they're trying to be cute. All right, your password. Some browsers will come with an automatic um, password that it generates to put in there. I recommend against that because if your computer and your phone are not synced, i.e. if you use a Windows computer and have a iPhone, they're not going to sync up and you're not, it's not going to work. 
So I recommend using a password that is easy for you to remember, yet hard for somebody to guess, and write it down. And log in every couple days and exercise it. Because if you lose your password, um, something really, really bad is going to happen. And we'll give you an example here in a minute. Um, so like I said, choose a password that's easy for you to remember, but difficult for someone to guess. You want to confirm that password in this block. And then right here, here's your warning. If you lose your password, you will not be able to read your emails. This is what that looks like. This is an email reply that I got from Christine. I can't read it because I forgot my password. If you can read that, please tell me what it says. <laughs> All right, uh, I recommend putting in a recovery email. That's in case you forget your password. You'll still be able to get into your email, but you won't be able to read what you, what's already been in your, uh, in your uh, email box. Okay, then you're, when you do this, by doing this, you agree and buy by the terms and conditions. I recommend reading that so you know what kind of contract you're entering into. Then click Create Account. And once that's done, you're going to get something that looks like this. It's a basic uh, web interface for email. You do have the option to um, get an app for your phone, which is cool. But basically, you're going to get three emails. The first one I've already deleted. Um, talked about their VPN service, which I recommend getting for anybody. VPN means virtual private network. Um, and then how to secure your Proton email account, which I can't read it because of my password issue. So this is what it looks like. Um, Go through these, these, these three initial emails, look at them, spend a little bit of time learning about what they're saying so you know. Um, the second part is write down your email because you don't want to be able to get into your emails two, three weeks or months down the road and all of your email looks like this. No good. All right, well, this is Brian signing out. Hope you have a wonderful day. God bless, and uh, we'll talk later.